Welcome back. If you are just joining us, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Um, we're going to be going through an all-level vinyasa flow tonight. Um, just a reminder that this is your practice. This is the time that you set out for yourself for self-love and self-care. So if I ever cue anything that does not call to you, please honor your body and honor your breath. Um, your body is your ultimate tool and your guide. So just listen to yourself tonight. We are gonna run through a few poses and just try not to let the ego get in the way today. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started in an easy seat, right foot in front of left. I'm letting the shoulders melt away from the ears, proud chest as the crown of your head lifts towards the ceiling. Not worrying about your breath here. Just letting each cleansing breath move whatever happened today or before this practice away. Can you settle into your breath here? If you're looking for more of a grounding practice, place both palms onto the knees. If you're ready to receive all this beautiful energy we're about to create as a community, go ahead and plant the palms facing the ceiling. And if you're looking for more of an introspective practice today, place one palm on the heart center and the other palm underneath the low belly, feeling your prana, feeling that energy within yourself. Starting to take notice how your body is feeling here. Maybe bringing your awareness to your breath, starting with a full breath here, fill the belly, fill the lungs, let the collarbone expand, holding the breath at the top of the throat, and then exhaling for four, three, two, one. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, let the chest rise, holding the breath at the top of the throat, and then releasing that exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale, big belly breath, first filling the belly, filling the lungs, letting the chest rise, holding the breath at the top of the throat, and then sealing the lips, letting the heat escape through both nostrils. Starting to dial into your ujjayi pranayama, or your victorious breath. Creating that slight constriction in the back of your throat as if you're fogging up a glass or a mirror. As the oceanic waves start to roll in and out of your breath, can you start to dial into your intention? Sharing with you my weekly mantra about compassion and having an open heart during this time. So many things are changing. So much chaos is happening in the world. Can we find clarity in a time of chaos. The ego sees through a lens of fear. Heart sees through a lens of love. It's okay to have fear for change and what's going on and what's happening next. I simply ask you not to let your ego cause you to forget that you have a heart as well. Finding kindness and compassion through everyone's issues and being respectful of everyone's ideas of what they think is safe for them and their families. Can we hone in and dial in? Trying to look through a lens of love instead of a lens of fear. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, let the collarbone expand. And then exhale, release. Starting to blink the eyes open here, bringing both palms onto the knees, and then starting to roll the neck in semicircles. First, creating some movement here. If it feels good, turning those circles into larger, more grander motions. First, moving the neck clockwise, and then if it feels good, switching that direction to counterclockwise. Being kind to our bodies here, maybe it was a long day at work. 
Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, bringing the palms together to kiss. Take a slight back bend here. Sending the gaze in between the palms. And then exhale, coming back to neutral spine. We're goal posting the arms here, sending the gaze high to the sky just for a moment. And then exhale, bringing the palms back up. Twisting our torsos, left palm comes in front of the right knee, sending the gaze behind the right shoulder. Here, can you plant the right palm behind the tailbone and lift through the chest and spine, lengthening, growing tall? And then with that exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper? Inhale, coming back through center. Root to rise, reach all the way up. Palms come together to kiss, taking a slight back bend here. And then exhale, opening the arms, goal posting the palms and sending the gaze and chin high. Coming back through center for just a moment, twisting, bringing the right palm onto the left knee. The left palm comes behind the tailbone, pushing the earth away from you, sending your gaze high, lengthening through the spine. Maybe with that exhale, you twist a little bit deeper, sending the gaze behind the left shoulder. We're here for one more breath. Inhale, lift through the chest, lengthen in the spine. And then exhale, maybe you twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, coming back through center, switching the grips, bringing the left foot in front of the right. And then root to rise, reach all the way up, bringing the palms together to kiss, take a slight back bend. And then opening up, coming back to neutral spine, finding that open arm. Inhale, gazes in between the palms. Exhale, finding that twist, bringing the left palm on top of the right knee. Sending the right palm behind you, pushing against the earth behind the tailbone, sending the gaze high, finding length through the spine. And then with that exhale, can you twist a little bit deeper, sending the gaze towards the right? Coming back through center, root to rise, reach all the way up, gazes in between the palms, take that slight back bend. And then goal posting in the arms here, finding a slight heart opening nice and early. Coming back through center and then twisting, bringing the right palm onto the left knee. Sending the left palm behind that tailbone to press into the earth, lengthening through the spine, growing a little bit taller. And then through that exhale, can you send the gaze behind the left shoulder blade, finding a little bit more of a deeper twist. One more breath here. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lung. Exhale, coming back through center, bringing the palms beside the thighs, and then slowly closing your knees together like a book. Here, bringing the palms on top of the shins, running through a few cat-cows. Inhale, gaze as high, open up the chest, pulse your heart towards the stars, modified cow pose. Exhale, ground down into the palms, hollow out that belly, gazes to the navel. Inhale, lift the chest and chin, send the gaze high, modified cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, gazes to the navel, cat pose. One last one for good measure. Inhale, lift the chest, open up the chin. And then exhale, round the spine, gazes to the navel, hollow out that belly. Inhale, coming back to neutral spine. We're grabbing underneath the thighs here, zipping up the core, bringing the knees and thighs together, and then coming into a modified boat pose. So a few options in this boat pose to get that core nice and hot. Can you squeeze those thighs together, bring the knees in towards the chest, proud chest here. Maybe from here you start to open up the palms. If that feels good, maybe you start to squeeze those thighs together and straighten out the legs. Wherever you are in this high boat, we're holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, down to low boat, nice and slow, holding here. And then starting to crisscross the feet for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to high boat, just for a moment. Take one big inhale here. You got this, yogis. Exhale, crossing at the ankles, finding a neutral tabletop at the top of your mat. In this neutral tabletop pose, our wrists are directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees are underneath the hips. 
Dropping the belly low, sending the gaze high, bolstering your heart towards the stars, cow pose. Exhale, can you ground down into those palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel, cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly low, open up the chest, send the gaze high. And then exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel. Coming down to neutral tabletop, paying attention to those architectural lines. Wrists are directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees are hips width distance apart underneath the hips. We're tucking those toes and rising two and a half inches off the earth for this lifted tabletop. One of my favorite poses here, I want you to feel your strength. Can you push the earth away from you, sending a slight protraction in your shoulder blades and the gaze is in between the palms. Taking a look at those knees, making sure they are in fact two and a half inches off the earth. In this lifted tabletop, active listening, slow and controlled, bringing all the weight onto the left foot, and then starting to open up this right leg for a doggy on a fire hydrant type of pose. That is the official Sanskrit name, doggy on a fire hydrant asana. Take one more full inhale here. Exhale, releasing that right foot down. Those knees are still lifted. Pushing into the earth, sending the left knee to the opposite side for doggy on a fire hydrant. Dorsi flexing in those swings. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, releasing back knees are two and a half inches. One cat cow with lifted knees, you got this. Drop the belly low, open up the chest, send the gaze high. And then exhale, ground down into the palms, round the spine, gazes to the navel. Coming back to that neutral spine, we're holding here for four, three, two, one. Lifting the hips high to the sky, sending the heels towards your mat. Out of the Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. In this inverted V shape, our feet are hips width distance apart. Our palms are a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Grounding down into the base knuckle of the index finger and the thumb, we're sending our gaze in between the ankles to elongate the neck. Inhale, both heels lift high to the sky. And then exhale, can you sink those heels a little bit closer towards the earth? Gaze is in between the palms. We look, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana, creating a number seven with your spine. Plug the shoulder blades into the back wall, staying here for that flat back, as if there's a perfect piece of favorite meal on your back on a plate, trying not to spill. Can you take one big inhale here with this flat back? And then exhale, release the chest down, finding that forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, grounding down in the feet, rising up, really reaching with intention, gazes in between the palms. Maybe you take a slight back bend here. Maybe you goal post the arms through that back bend. Inhale through center. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift out the Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palms, moving into your high plank. After listening in this high plank, I want you to find some stillness. Pushing the earth away from you as if you were in that lifted tabletop pose, finding that slight protraction in your shoulders. Feel how strong you are, yogis. Feel the earth beneath you. Use that earth as a tool to push yourself a little bit higher. In this high plank. We're bringing the right palm towards the top of the left shoulder and then releasing down. Left palm towards the right shoulder blade here, distributing the weight. Exhale, release. One more time on each side. Right palm comes to left shoulder. Release. Left palm comes to right shoulder. Release. Tucking the elbows in towards the ribs, lowering down for that low plank. And then untucking the toes, coming all the way down onto the belly, finding Bhujangasana, or low cobra pose. In this Bhujangasana, the shoelace portion of our feet are grounded down into the mat. Pressing the palms underneath the shoulder blades, maybe you send the chest a little bit higher. Here in this Bhujangasana, or low cobra, maybe you test your strength by simply lifting those palms off the earth. Sending the elbows to magnetize towards one another. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, maybe you move a little bit higher, sending the gaze towards the top of your mat. And then planting the palms, rolling over the toes, finding out of the Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. 
generously bending both knees, inviting some movement and some fluidity in your down dog. Maybe you start to wiggle it out. Maybe you run through a few handstand drills, whatever feels good. If you're with me, we're finding a little bit of stillness in this inverted V shape. Take one big inhale here, both heels rise to reset. And then exhale, sink them deep into the mat. Inhale, gaze is in between the palms. We walk, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift, creating that inverted number seven. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. Gaze is in between the palms, taking that goal post back bend, sending the tailbone forward. And then releasing back through center. Swan dog leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, you flow, you grow. High to low plank, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down. Upward facing dog, this time arcing the chest through. Planting the shoelace portion of your feet into the earth, pushing the palms against your mat to send the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you slightly tuck the chin in, take one more inhale here. Exhale, rolling over the toes, finding that inverted V shape. One more sun A for good measure. Gazes in between the palms. We look, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Reach all the way up. Active listening. We're grabbing for the left wrist. And then moving over towards the right side, spiraling your chest towards the ceiling. Can you take one expansive breath through this left lung? And with that exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper, spiraling a little bit wider? One more inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. <sighs> inhale, rise up through center, grabbing the right wrist, moving over towards the left side, grounding down into both heels. Spiraling your chest towards the ceiling, take one full inhale here. And then exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper, spiraling a little bit further. One more breath, inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, rise through center. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, high to low plank. You flow, you grow. Tuck those elbows into the ribs as you lower down. Maybe you take a couple extra chaturanga push-ups if you like. Meeting me in that downward facing dog, running through your vinyasa however you feel is fit. And in this downward facing dog, taking one full inhale to reset, both heels lift high to the sky. Exhale, sink them deep into the earth. Both feet come together to touch at the back of your mat. I call this one zip up dog. Bringing those feet together to touch and sending the navel in towards the spine, finding that core zip up. Inhale, right foot comes high to the sky. That ego wants our toes to be pointed, but can you bring the ego to the side? Slightly send the right toes towards the earth, squaring off the hips for that internal rotation. Bending at the knee without opening the hip and then starting to create those big circles with that right knee. First moving clockwise, and then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Inhale, three like a dog, right leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, maybe you give that knee a kiss. Three like a dog. Right knee to right elbow, make a connection, hold, sliding that knee all the way down towards the wrist. And then inhale, shooting it back up, three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow, cross body hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the foot in between the palms. We're grounding this left knee towards the earth and then untucking those left toes. Slow and controlled, rising up for Anjane Asana here, sending the gaze in between the palms. Can you squeeze the thighs together, activate in the glutes? Maybe you take a slight back bend here. Goal posting the arms, opening in the heart, pushing down into this right foot to make yourself move a little bit farther. And then releasing back Anjane Asana. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. 
sending that left hip down towards the earth. And then exhale, painting a picture towards the top of your mat, sending the right hip back for half Hanuman, half split. If full split is in your practice here and you'd like to play, you're more than welcome. Starting to slide down in that full split with this right foot forward. Wherever you are exploring in this hamstring stretch, can you take one full inhale, halfway lift lengthen through the spine wherever you are? And exhale, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, coming back up through center, coming out of full split if that's in your practice. And then moving back into that Anjane Asana, palms come high to the sky. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, goal post in the arms, finding that slight back bend. And then releasing back through center. Left palm comes down towards the earth, bringing the left foot to tuck and rise, finding an easy twist, gazes to the right fingertips. Slow and controlled, sending all the weight onto this left side, finding Vashi Stas in a side plank. In this side plank, you have the option to drop this lower knee to modify, or maybe you up level by lifting that top leg, finding a little bit of balance in your practice. In this side plank, we're holding here for five. Four, push the earth away from you with this left palm, find stability in that core. Three, two, one, right palm comes down towards the earth. Maybe that right foot stays lifted for a one-legged chaturanga, tucking those elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down. Upward facing dog, arc the chest through. Exhale, big toes come together to touch, sending the chest down towards the earth, finding your child's pose. Using this opportunity in your child's pose to come back to that breath. Using this child's pose to slow the heart rate down. And maybe coming back to that intention that you set in the beginning of class. Inhale, starting to walk the palms close to the body and then finding that inverted V shape. In this inverted V shape, feet are hips width distance apart. And then slowly starting to step those feet in for that zip up dog, sending the navel in towards the spine, grounding down into both palms, gazes towards the toes. Inhale, left foot lifts high to the sky. If you want to keep it pointed, can you ask the ego to square off that hip? Left toes come towards the earth, squaring off the hip with that internal rotation. And then bending at the knee, starting to create those big circles here. Getting into that synovial fluid of this left hip, really finding some lubrication with these circles. Switching the direction to counterclockwise. And then inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, find that protraction in your shoulders. Maybe you give the knee a kiss. Three like a dog. Left knee to left elbow, make a connection. We're sliding that left knee down to the wrist. And then inhale, shooting it back up, three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, cross body hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee to nose, round the spine, crunch it in, plant the left foot in between the palms. Dropping the right knee down towards the earth, untucking those right toes. And then rising up for Anjane Asana, sending the hip down towards the earth. Here in this Anjane Asana, can you squeeze those thighs together? Can you engage the glutes, letting the shoulders melt away from the ears? Take one full inhale here. Exhale, gold posting the arms, maybe finding a slight back bend, following your body. And then inhale, coming back through center. One more time for good measure. If it feels good, gold posting the arms, opening in the chest, finding that slight back bend. And then releasing back up through center. Bringing the palms to paint a picture in front of you and then sending the left hip back, finding half Hanuman, half split. In this half Hanuman or half split, you're more than welcome to move into full split if that's what you're working on. Sending the left hip back, sending the gaze between the right toes. Can you inhale, take a halfway lift? And then exhale, lengthen the spine, finding a little bit more space in this half split. 
One more breath here. Fill the belly, fill the lung. Exhale, start to walk the palms towards the body, moving back into that Hanuman, or excuse me, into this Anjaneyasana. Opening up for the same pose, gaze in between the palms of the shoulder blades melt. And then finding that one more back bend, goal posting the arms, sending the gaze towards the ceiling. Coming back through center, planting the right palm down, tucking the right toes, lifting up, finding an easy twist, gazes to the left fingertips here. Slow and controlled, we're bringing all the weight onto the right side, finding Vashi Stasana side plank. Option to drop down to this low knee to modify, or option to up level, maybe you lift the top leg high to the sky. Wherever you are in this side plank, can you use this right palm to push against the earth to give yourself a little bit more power, sending the hip a little bit higher. Holding here for three, two, one. Left palm comes down towards the earth. Maybe it stays lifted for a one-legged chaturanga as you tuck those elbows in towards the ribs. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, big toes come together to touch child's pose. In this child's pose, taking a moment, Taking this opportunity to find that breath. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. Inhale, walking the palms close to the body, finding that downward facing dog. Gaze is in between the palms. We slowly jump, step, walk, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, active listening. From here, we're coming down into our Utkatasana chair pose. So from here, can you bring the feet about hips width distance apart? Maybe keeping a slight inner rotation of those toes and then bending at the knee, sitting in that imaginary chair. So in this chair pose, take a look at your alignment. If those knees surpass the toes, can you bring that butt back? Finding the natural curvature of your spine, gazes in between the palms, let the shoulders melt. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, palms come into heart center. And then finding a twist, sending the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. In this twist, maybe you choose to stay here. Maybe you choose to open up those wings, finding a little bit deeper of a stretch or spinal twist. Take one full breath in the side twist. And then slow and controlled, bringing all the weight onto the right foot. Starting to send the left foot back, finding that twisted lunge. Taking one full breath here, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, rising up for that crescent warrior. And then pivoting this left toe, finding warrior one. In Virabhadrasana one or warrior one, we're creating a right angle with this right knee. Our back foot is pivoted to 45 degrees, sending the shoulders to melt away from the ears. Squeezing those inner thighs together, engaging the glutes. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, goal posting in the arms, finding that slight heart opening back bend. And then coming back through center. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, pivoting this left foot, committing to the bend into this right knee, finding warrior two. In this warrior two, our hips are square towards the left. Our drishti or gaze is in between the right fingertips. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. Inhale, opening up the palms. Take one bicep kiss. Palms come together to kiss biceps and ears. Squeeze here for just a moment. And then releasing back down for warrior two. Straightening in that leg, reaching for something you desire. Hinging at the hips, finding trikonasana triangle pose. In this trikonasana triangle pose, maybe you shorten your stance a bit. Try not to dump all the weight into this right palm. Maybe you push against the right shin. Take one full breath here. Inhale, fill the belly. And then exhale, releasing this left palm on the outside of the right foot, finding a twisted trikonasana. In this twisted triangle pose, can you send the tailbone back? Sending the gaze to the right fingertips, take one big inhale here. And then exhale, right palm comes on the inside of the right foot. 
Opening back up for that trikonasana, taking one big move here, straightening in both legs, finding reverse trikonasana. And then carveling the palms to frame this right foot. Shortening the stance generously, finding your pyramid pose, taking a halfway lift lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melting that heart down towards this right shin, sending the gaze towards the left toe. In this pyramid pose, maybe you stay here. Maybe you start to walk the palms behind you, moving into flamingo pose. Grounding down into this right foot, sending all the weight into the right foot, and then taking the left toes towards the ceiling for that flamingo. Wherever you are in this pyramid pose, can you find that release in the hamstring? Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, neutral pyramid. Bringing the palms to frame this right foot and then sending the left heel high to the sky, standing split. A few options for handstand hops here if you'd like to play. If you're with me, I'm coming down for three Shiva squats. Option to keep the palms grounded. Option number two, you can tempt the fingertips or maybe you challenge yourself bringing the palms into heart center. Left knee towards right ankle, open up the chest for one. Release, left foot high to the sky. Left knee to right ankle for two, open up the chest. Standing split. Last one, left knee to right ankle, open up the chest, take your time to create that balance. Planting the palms towards the earth, finding that standing split, left leg high to the sky. And then releasing the left foot towards the earth, grabbing opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. In this ragdoll pose, generously bending in both knees, inviting the chest to kiss the thigh. Finding that decompression in your neck and spine, letting gravity do its work. Maybe you rock back and forth. With that slight bend in the knees, can you plant the palms towards the earth? Bringing the left palm in the center of both feet and then finding that twist, sending the right palm high to the sky, opening up towards the right side. Taking one full inhale here with this twist. Exhale, releasing the right palm in the middle. And then finding that twist on the opposite side, sending the gaze towards the left fingertips. Exhale, plant both palms towards the earth, finding your high plank. And then choosing your journey through your vinyasa, tucking those elbows in towards the ribs and lowering down. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through, open up for an optional back bend. And then exhale, rolling over the toes, finding downward facing dog. In this downward facing dog, bringing both feet together to touch. Gaze is in between the palms, slow and controlled. We walk, step, jump, hop, or float to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift out of the Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up, act of listening. We're bringing our feet to about hips width distance apart. And then sitting into our imaginary chair, Utkatasana chair pose. In this Utkatasana chair pose, take a look at your alignment. If those knees are surpassing the toes, can you send that ass back? Slightly tuck the tailbone in, finding the natural curvature of your spine. And then letting the shoulder blades melt away from the ears. Taking one full inhale here, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, palms come into heart center and then finding that twist. Right elbow comes on the outside of the left thigh, gazes behind the left shoulder. Taking a look at those knees, making sure one doesn't jet in front of the other, bring them in line. And then open up the wings if that feels good. Take one full inhale here. Exhale, palms come into heart center, bringing all the weight onto the left foot. And then slow and controlled, sending the right foot back, finding that twist and lunge. One inhale here, option to open up those wings one last time. And then coming back. Inhale, big move, moving into the crescent warrior. And then pivoting this right foot, finding warrior one, committing to the bend in this left knee. In this warrior one, if there was a laser coming out of this left foot, it should directly bisect the right heel. Letting the shoulders melt away from the ears, squeezing those thighs together, engaging in the glutes. 
Take one full inhale here. Fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, goal posting the arms, opening through the chest, finding that optional back bend. And then coming back through center. Inhale, pivoting this back foot and then committing to the bend into this left knee, warrior two. In this warrior two, can you square hips off to the right? Can you send your drishti or gaze towards this left fingertips, let the shoulders melt down the spine? Opening up the palms here as if there's two 30 pound weights for coming in for one bicep kiss. Inhale, palms come together to kiss, squeeze it in, hold. Exhale, release. Straightening in this left leg, hinging at the hip, reaching for something you desire with this left palm. And then transitioning into Trikonasana triangle pose, gazes to the right fingertips. In this Trikonasana, maybe you shorten your stance a bit. Trying not to dump all the weight into this left side, can you push the left palm into the left leg and open up the chest a little bit wider? Take one full inhale here. Exhale, left or right palm comes on the outside of the left leg, finding that twisted trikonasana. So maybe your palm is on a block or on a book, sending your gaze towards the left fingertips here. Take one full inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled, releasing this left palm on the inside of the left leg. And then finding that trikonasana pose one last time. Big move, straightening in both legs, reaching behind you, reverse trikonasana. And then cartwheeling the palms, framing the left foot, maybe shortening the stance, finding your pyramid pose. In this pyramid pose, can you take a halfway lift lengthen through the spine? Exhale, melt the chest down towards this left thigh. If this is enough for you, you can always stay a groovy hamstring stretch. If you're looking for a little bit more, coming with me through flamingo pose, I'm bringing my palms to face the back of the mat. Sending my weight into this left foot and then taking those right toes towards the ceiling for that flamingo. Wherever you are in this pyramid pose, can you take a halfway lift to lengthen in the spine? And see if you can surrender that heart a little bit closer towards the left shin. One more inhale wherever you are. And then releasing back down, neutral pyramid. Bringing both palms to frame this left foot, grounding down and then sending the right heel high to the sky for that standing split. A few options in those handstand hops if you'd like to play. If you're with me for those three squats, bringing the palms either on the earth, maybe you tent the fingertips, maybe you bring them into heart center for an additional challenge. Right knee comes down to left ankle, open up the chest, send the gaze high, find balance in this practice. And then releasing the right foot, standing split. A slight bend in this left knee to find a strong foundation, right knee to left ankle, open up the chest for two. Standing split. Last one, yogis, you got this. Whoop. Right knee to left ankle, open up the chest, send the gaze high. Exhale, plant the palms towards the earth, send the right foot high to the sky just for a moment. And then releasing back down, grabbing opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. In this ragdoll pose, letting the head hang heavy. Finding the decompression in your neck and spine. Taking one full inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Active listening, grabbing onto those opposite elbows. We're grounding down into the heels, bending at the knee, and then rising up for Utkatasana chair pose with a bind. Just like life yogis, when things get tough, we stay up. Can you ground down into both feet as if you're trying to rip your mat in two? You should feel those outer glutes turn on. Pushing into the palms, sending the gaze high. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, maybe you sink those hips two inches lower. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Don't give up. You got this. Exhale, sink two more inches. One more breath, yogis. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Standing all the way up and then releasing down for that forward fold. Planting both palms into the earth, choosing your journey to your vinyasa. High to low plank, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs as you lower down. 
Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog, creating that inverted V shape. In this downward facing dog, using this as your resting pose. Can you use your breath as a tool to start to slow the heart rate down? You got this, yogis. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. Control the breath, control the mind. We're here for one more reset. Inhale, both heels lift high to the sky. Exhale, can you sink them deep into the earth? Inhale, bringing both feet together to touch for that zip up dog. And then bringing the right foot high to the sky for that three-legged dog. Starting to bend at the knee, scorpion tailing, right heel towards left glute. If that right hip shoots up towards the ceiling as with the armpit, can you bring the armpit in line, squaring off, rounding down evenly into both palms? If you're ready for that flip dog, rounding down into this left foot and then flipping your dog over, reaching for something you desire with that right palm. Moving into four wheel, if that's in your practice, take one big inhale here. Exhale, releasing the right palm down, finding that three-legged dog, right leg high to the sky. And then right knee comes in towards the nose, round the spine, plant the right foot in between the palms. Big move, active listening. We're rising all the way up, sending the left knee in towards the chest, grabbing it towards the chest here, and then starting to create big circles with this left ankle. First moving clockwise, and then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Releasing that left foot down to the earth for just a moment. I'm going to turn to you guys. First, bringing the left knee in towards the chin one last time. If you feel comfortable to grab onto this left toe with those big two peace fingers. And then seeing if you can press the heel out in front of you as if you're kicking a wall right in front. Maybe a slight bend in this right knee, lifting the chest, sending the gaze high. And then if it feels good, maybe you start to open up towards the left side. If your hip is high, can you bring that hip in line? Maybe bringing the right palm and then maybe sending the gaze towards the right side. If you fall out of this pose, no worries. Take one big inhale here. Exhale, releasing the foot back out in front of us, coming where we came from. Maybe bringing the knee in towards the chest and then releasing down. Coming back through center, take one big inhale, fill the belly, open up. And then exhale, goal posting in the arms, finding that mini back bend once again. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms high to low plank. In this high to low plank, maybe you challenge yourself and take a few chatter on the push-ups. Maybe you skip these push-ups here and just finish your vinyasa, upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukhasvanasana. Taking a few breaths in this downward facing dog. An opportunity to come back to your intention. Bringing both feet together to touch at the back of your mat. Take one big inhale here. Exhale, left heel comes high to the sky, three-legged dog. Scorpion tailing left heel towards right glute. If that left armpit shoots up towards the ceiling, can you take this opportunity to square it off towards your mat? Drawing those big circles with this left knee, getting really juicy in this left hip. And then when you're ready, coming back to that three-legged dog scorpion tail. Slow and controlled, right palm grounds down into the earth. If you're ready for that flip dog, reaching for something you desire with this left palm. Can you use the right palm to push into the earth to send your chest a little bit higher? Take one full inhale here. Exhale, slow and controlled, left palm comes down towards the mat. Left foot lifts high to the sky, three-legged dog. Left knee in towards the nose, rounding the spine, planting the left foot in between the palms. 
And then big mover rising all the way up one swift motion. Right knee comes in towards the chest. Starting to create big circles with this right ankle. First moving clockwise. And then switching the direction to counterclockwise. Bringing the right foot down towards the earth. I'm going to face you guys for this. And then bringing the right knee in towards the chest, setting ourselves up for success. Maybe taking the two piece fingers of this right foot and grabbing onto the right big toe. Pressing the heel out in front of you as if you're stomping a wall right in front. Maybe this left palm comes on to the hip just to give yourself a little bit more stability. And then maybe if that feels good, starting to open up the hip towards the right. If that hip wants to move high, can you send it down? Finding that slight inner rotation, squaring off the hip, and maybe this left palm starts to reach out in front of you. Maybe you start to send the gaze towards the left fingertips. Take one full inhale here. And then coming back where we came from, bringing the foot out in front of us to stamp that wall. Slow and controlled, maybe you start to release this foot, bringing the knee in towards the chest, and then releasing back down. Coming in for that final back bend, inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. And then exhale, sending the tailbone towards the top of your mat, goal posting in the arms. If it feels good, maybe you start to sink a little bit lower. Inhale, coming back to your center. Swan dive, leading with the chest, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, final vinyasa, high to low plank, tuck those elbows in towards the ribs, make this strong. Maybe you add those five chaturanga push-ups for an extra little bit of strength. Upward facing dog, pull the chest through. Exhale, bringing the knees in towards the chest, finding your modified hero's pose. In this modified hero's pose, taking a moment of gratitude, bringing the palms into heart center. Can we use our breath to slow our heart rate down? Can we take a moment of gratitude for our capable beating hearts? So many people in this world are going through so much right now. Changing jobs, going back to work, choosing whether or not going back to work is a good opportunity or a good choice. People are struggling with keeping their families safe versus going to work or choosing all these different things, can we keep them in mind and find empathy in our responses? Can we pause and respond through a lens of love versus a lens of fear or anxiety? Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, goal posting in those arms, finding that beautiful back bend that we've been working on all day. And then inhale, come back through center. Bringing the palms out in front of us, finding that neutral tabletop pose. Wrists directly underneath the shoulder blades, knees underneath the hips. Left palm starts to trace the right, opening up here for that easy twist. And then sending the left palm underneath the right, sending the left shoulder blade towards the earth, finding a shoulder stretch. A couple different options here. If this is enough for your shoulder, you can always stay. If you're looking for a little bit more, maybe the right palm comes to slide in between, the little nook between the hip and thigh. Maybe if it feels good, you start to find balance and lift this right foot high to the sky. Dorsey flexing those fins, sending the right toes to square off the hips and grounding down into this left top palm. Maybe you start to reach behind you for a bind. Take one full breath wherever you are. And then releasing the right foot down to the earth. Right palm comes in front of the face. Left palm lifts, finding that counter stretch. Here, can you take that final back bend, goal posting in the arms, opening the heart. And then releasing back down to center. One cat cow to reset. Drop the belly low. Open up the chest. Send the gaze high. 
Grounding down into the palms around the spine, gazes to the navel. Inhale, coming back to neutral spine, right palm traces the left, and then opening up the chest, gazes to the right fingertips. Exhale, right palm threads underneath the left, sending the right shoulders towards the earth. Again, if this is enough, you can always stay. If you're looking for a little bit more, maybe the left palm comes in between a little gap between the thigh and hip. And maybe you start to press into the top of this left palm, sending the left heel high to the sky, finding a little bit of a balancing pose. And the beauty about this pose is if you're so close to the ground, if you fall, it's very easy to roll out of it. So take your time and explore in this pose. Take your time and challenge yourself in this pose. Wherever you are, take one more full inhale here. And then exhale, release down, left palm comes in front of the face, finding that counter stretch right palm high to the sky. Exhale, goal posting in the arm, finding that sweet heart opening. And then releasing back through center. One cat cow just to reset, drop the belly low, finding fluidity in the spine. And then exhale, round the spine, gazes to the navel, protract in the shoulder blades. Releasing all the way down to the glutes. And then coming into Dandasana, staff pose. So in this pose, all of our chakras are aligned here, if you can see, or stacked above one another. Can you dorsiflex in the fins? You're so active in both feet, your heels should magically lift off the earth. Keeping that core line nice and tall, gaze is high. Root to rise, reach all the way up, sending the palms together to kiss. And then with that length in the spine, can you fold over, finding Kashimottanasana, forward fold. In this Kashimottanasana, I want you to think chest to thigh versus nose to knee. So we're keeping an up dog quality in our chest, finding that integrity of the spine with that flat back. So maybe it looks like this today with bent knees, and that's just as good. Maybe you're a little bit stiff today and only come down to here, and that's totally okay too. Wherever you are, take one more full inhale. Exhale, start to walk the glutes towards the top of your mat and then bringing the palms over the shin coming full circle. One modified cat cow here, lift the chest, send the gaze high. We had a lot of back bends today, so I wanna make sure that we have fluidity in our spine. And then round the spine, gazes to the navel. Inhale, coming back to neutral, bringing that imaginary beach ball out in front of us. And then slow and controlled coming all the way down, active listening. Usually we just melt all the way down, but this time we're gonna grab onto the bottom of the thigh. And then as we melt down, we're gonna melt down into boat pose. So taking your time, challenging yourself, still slowly moving, coming into high boat. And then with lots of control, dorsiflexing in those fins or maybe pointing the toes, Squeezing those thighs together. We're coming all the way down onto our mats. Challenge yourself here. Invite those shakes into your practice. We're working nice and hard. And then releasing down to the mat, sending both knees in towards the chest. Take one big inhale here. Exhale, right foot comes down towards the earth. Left knee comes cross body, setting up for that supine twist. Opening up the palms out to a T here. Or maybe negotiating some space with those plant babies and goal posting the arms. Wherever you are, can you simultaneously ground both shoulders into the earth while bringing the left knee closer towards the right. Inhale, both knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Exhale, sending the left foot down towards the earth. Right knee comes in towards the face. Right knee comes cross body, sending up for that supine twist, opening up the palms to a T. Can you ground down both shoulder blades? Maybe they're a little bit tender from all those back bends. 
Maybe that left palm comes towards the right knee to guide it a little bit closer towards the earth. Wherever you are, take one big inhale here. Exhale, bringing both knees in towards the chest and then finding an inversion of your choice. Maybe that's Shashasana headstand or shoulder stand or maybe even handstand. If you're with me, I'm doing good old legs up the wall, simply creating an L shape with my body, pushing my palms into the thighs to send my low back towards the earth. Letting all that blood flow from your feet down towards the hips, take one full breath here. And if you're in a different inversion, taking your time, finding any final pose that maybe I do not call for for this class that you're craving. And then when you're ready, releasing everything down towards the earth. Moving any blocks, any water bottles out of the way. And releasing all the way down. This is what we worked for. This moment of bliss where we can forget and focus on our breath. Relaxing in the crown of your head. Softening in the space between the brows. Uncrinkling the nose. Releasing the lips. Softening the jaw. Relaxing in the neck and the shoulders. In the palms and in the chest. Softening in the belly, the hips. Relaxing in the thighs. Unbuckling the knees. Releasing in the shins, the ankles, and the feet. Starting to Bring awareness back to the body. Remembering that when our hearts are open, everything we do becomes love. Starting to invite awareness into those fingers we give those a wiggle. Inviting life back into their toes, we maybe wiggle those. Bringing both knees into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze, thanking yourself for showing up on your mats today for self-love and self-care. And then choosing either the right side or the left side to fall onto a fetal position, using your bicep as a pillow. This pose represents rebirth, knowing that every single time we step off our mats and into the world is an opportunity for us to reset. Grounding down into your palms, rising up to a seated position, facing any which way you desire. Palms gather all this beautiful energy we created as a community and hearts come down to center. Ego sees through a lens of fear. Heart sees through a lens of love. It's okay to have fear. I'm simply asking you not to let your ego cause you to forget that you have a heart. Being empathetic and compassionate when we can. The perfectly imperfect student in me bows, honors, and respects the teachers and all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me. Happy hump day. If you feel so inclined to make a donation, I have the links in my bio. And if you have any questions or concerns about anything that we did today, feel free to contact me, feel free to shoot me a DM, or if you guys have any questions about anything going on, I'd be happy to help. Thank you guys so much for playing tonight. Happy hump day. Mwah!